The fifth dream Queen Trisla had was of a beautiful garland descending from the sky. It smelled mixed fragrances of different flowers. The flowers bloomed during the different seasons. The whole universe was filled with their fragrance. Normally in a different season we have only one on several different kind of flowers. In every season they have different kind of flowers. But this garland that the queen saw from, that from the sky, yeah, descending from the sky as a beautiful garland was mixed of all kind of flowers from different seasons. Yeah. It's very auspicious anyway, obviously, you know? Yeah. So this dream indicated that the fragrance or of her son's teaching will spread throughout the universe and he would be respected by all. The sixth dream Queen Trisla had was of a full moon. It was a very auspicious sight. The moon was at its full glory. It was as bright as a star. It awoke the lilies to full bloom. This dream indicated that the child would help lessen the suffering of all living beings. He would bring the peace to the world. He would help the spiritual progress of humanity at large. The seventh dream Queen Trisla had was of the bright sun. Wow, even sun, moon, everything. The sun was shining to destroy the darkness. It was as bright as the flames of the forest fire. The sun rose and ended the, the evil activities of the creatures who thrive at night. The eighth dream Queen Trisla had was of a large flag flying on a golden stick. The flag flutters softly and auspiciously in the gentle breeze. It attracted the eyes of all people. Yeah. A radiant lion was pictured on it as well. <laughs> Always a lion. Because the lion is the king of the animal's kingdom. So I guess that's why the flags of some country, they put the lion on it. Or put the lion scripture in front of their palace or in front of their residence to show their power. Maybe I need some. <laughs> so you know I also have some power. <laughs> no, I'm joking, huh? No need, huh? This dream indicated that her son would carry the banner of the religion. He would reinstate the religious order throughout the universe. The ninth dream Queen Trisla had was of a golden vase filled with clear water. It was a magnificent, beautiful and bright vase. You know vase? You put a flower in it? It was decorated with a garland, flower garland, yes. This dream indicated that her son would be perfect in all virtues and would be full of compassion for all living beings. He would be a supreme religious personality. The tenth dream Queen Trisla had was of a lake full of lotuses. Thousands of lotuses were floating on the lake and they all bloomed and opened at the touch of the sun's rays. The lotuses had a very sweet fragrance. This dream indicated that her son would be beyond worldly attachment, like the lotus, grow in the mud but do not reek of the mud. He would help liberate human beings who were entangled in the cycles of birth, death and misery. 
the eleventh dream Queen Trisla had was of an ocean. Its water rose in all the directions to great height. The wind blew gently and created the waves. This dream indicated that her son would have a serene and pleasant personality. He would achieve the infinite perception and knowledge and would escape from worldly life, which is the ocean of birth, death and misery. This would lead his soul to the moksha. Moksha, liberation. So, moksha is a Sanskrit term for liberation, great enlightenment, like any Hindu, any Indian yogi would aspire to attain moksha, okay? Liberation. The twelfth dream Queen Trisla had was of a celestial plane. The plane resounded with celestial music. It was saturated with the pleasant and spiritual aroma of the incense. This dream indicated that all of the angels in the heaven would respect, honor, and salute her son's spiritual teachings. The thirteenth dream Queen Trisla had was of a big heap of jewels. It was a mixture of all types of gems and precious stones, gems, diamond stuff, and precious stones, mixed a big heap of all of these precious stones. This dream indicated that her son would have infinite virtues and wisdom and he would attain the supreme enlightenment. The fourteenth dream Queen Trisla had was of a smokeless fire. The fire burned with great intensity, but there was no smoke. This dream indicated that her son would reform and restore the religious order. He would remove blind faith and orthodox rituals. Furthermore, he would burn or destroy his karma and attain salvation. The fifteenth dream was of a pair of fish. Oh, they included sixteen now. Sixteen dreams in total. Wow! The queen has a really <laughs> exceptional memory, huh? Yeah. I wish all of you have at least half of it, maybe seven or eight dreams, if you remember when you woke up. <laughs> the fifteenth dream was a pair of fish which indicated that her son would be extremely handsome. The sixteenth dream was of a lofty throne, which indicated that her son would have a very high spiritual status. Wow! See, so many dreams, and she remembered them all. And these scholars or seers or clairvoyant, they interpreted them all in such a clarity, yeah. But it's obvious, actually. <laughs> Even we don't have to be seer or clairvoyant. We can read uh, most of it as auspicious sign yeah? for the birth of a prince, of course, yes. They came from a royal lineage and spiritual lineage. And of course, the sun would be some spiritual being, some great spiritual being inherited their spirit, yeah. And besides, all the dreams are beautiful, good symbols of greatness. Uh, the king should have invited me, you know, I don't need so many seers or clairvoyant. I say all of them, <laughs> all by myself. I can interpret all myself, all sixteen of them, with a lot of calendar attached to it. <laughs> Not just explaining, <laughs> but talking a lot. <laughs> make the king and the queen even more happy, more explanation, more adding spice and flour <laughs> to each of the dream. <laughs> After their morning chores, Maharaji Siddhartha and Devi Trisla came and took their seats in the assembly hall. His younger brother, 
Shubhashwa, his wife and other members of the royal family also took their seats nearby. Famous dream readers of Vaishali arrived into the assembly hall. Maharaji Siddhartha and Devi Trisla greeted the dream readers and scholars of eight prong system of augury and offer them high seat. The king said to them, Scholars of augury, last night in the early hours of the morning, Priyakarini, Vidadina Devi, Trishla. This is all her title before. Her name is Trishla. Here is a 14, but we have 16. So 16 auspicious dreams. Kindly interpret these dreams on the basis of your knowledge and experience of the science of augury and satisfy the curiosity of all of us. The augurs listen to the details of the dreams from Devi Trishla and beamed with joy. Pondering over, they interpreted the dreams as follows. O King of Kings, Maharaji Siddhartha, according to the science of dreams, there are 72 auspicious dreams. Out of these, 42 indicate of ordinary benefits and remaining 30 of great benefits. The dreams the fortunate Devi Trishla has seen are the 16 great dreams that indicate extremely auspicious and divine gains in the near future. According to these dreams, Devi Trishla will give birth to a son who will become a Chakravati. But, boom, 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 Maharaji, there are some catch beside that. Okay, tomorrow I continue, okay? <laughs> you take a rest now. There are some more exciting things to come. Make sure you stay. <laughs> you would stay, right? It's a retreat. Okay, I see you maybe, or maybe tonight if I had done all my job. <laughs> if I took care of all of my office works and meditate for a while, eat something, maybe I come see you, huh? Yeah, be happy, maybe. Maybe. Be good, yeah? Imagine if Queen Trisla has so many children. Uh, how many dreams? <laughs> Thousands of dreams she must have. Yes. Because all of you are prince and princess in my heart. And in, uh, in the spiritual heavens, you are prince and princess. Make sure you are worthy of that title. No? Vietnam, huh? Vietnam, 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 Việt Nam ta nguyện tranh đấu cho đời Tình yêu đây là khi rơi Tình thương đem về muôn nơi Việt Nam về tiếng nói đi xây tình người Việt Nam Việt Nam Việt Nam quê hương đất nước sang người Việt Nam Việt Nam Việt Nam Hey. <笑>大家好，嗯，我认识很多人，三十年、二十年以前的，怎么都都不老呢？啊，<笑>大概打住好嘿。Okay. Thank you, Rob.